US automobile major Ford Motor has pulled the plug on its production in India. And the decision has come after nearly three decades of the company's struggle to make a mark in India. Going ahead, it will sell only imported vehicles as part of a restructuring exercise. The writing was on the wall for several months, with the company reporting huge losses and poor sales in the past decade. Perhaps Ford in India was caught in the wrong lane both due to external and internal factors. The pandemic and subsequent divorce with M&M, even before the joint venture could take off, left the company with few options. So what does it mean for India and Indians? It means the automaker will stop selling vehicles like the EcoSport, Figo, Endeavor, Freestyle and Aspire, which were produced at the Chennai and Sanand plants. Let's look at some of the numbers that give a fair idea of what it means for Ford and the domestic market. Well, the concerning thing here is that Ford is the fourth US automaker to shrink India operations after Harley-Davidson, UM Motorcycle and General Motors in less than five years. The iconic Italian car brand Fiat ended the operations in India last year and the reason it cited were almost similar in all cases. Poor sales, high operating losses and high fixed costs. So does it mean that India as a market has failed to live up to global companies' expectations? And why do companies like Ford struggle when Maruti, Hyundai, Tata Motors and Mahindra or for that matter even newcomers like Korean Kia and China's MG Motors manage to get good numbers? Let's look at the possible reasons behind global auto players' exit from the India market. Global companies' bid to move from internal combustion engines to electric vehicles could be one of the reasons. And the existing trend underscores the pressures on global automakers to invest more in electric and automated vehicles as well as connected vehicle technology. Now companies like Ford, General Motors and Renault are walking away from money-losing ventures and redirecting capital to electrification and investment in technology in order to survive. In Ford's case, the company has been escalating investment in electric vehicles and advanced software. In May, it said it would boost spending on EVs by a third to $30 billion by 2030. According to a Reuters report, India was low on priority for Ford Chief Executive Jim Farley since he took charge last year with limited financial resources. Now let's talk about the second reason, that is shared mobility. Sharing cars likely means lower growth of vehicle sales. There are several factors that have seen the rise in demand for shared mobility. In fact, various governments across the world have launched schemes to increase the adoption of smart mobility. According to a report, the global shared mobility market size is projected to reach $1,045,460 million by 2027, from $90,690 million in 2020, at a CAGR of 6.5% during the forecast period 2021-2027. In India too, the scenario seems no different. The Niti Aayog expects that by 2020, 80% of two- and three-wheelers, 40% of buses and 30-70% to of cars will be electric vehicles. It further expects that 35% of passenger miles will be on shared vehicles. So there is a logic behind big automakers shifting their priorities and being futuristic. The third important reason could be high ownership costs. India, which is the world's fifth largest market for passenger vehicles and the largest for two-wheelers, has seen growth in both segments tapering in the past decade, thanks to an increase in ownership costs. The compound annual growth rate for passenger vehicles dropped to 3.6% between FY10 and FY20, against 10.3% in the decade before this. Due to a global shortage of semiconductor chips, automakers from across the world are lowering production. And as a result, consumers will have to take the burden of paying more to buy these products. Manuti Suzuki chairman R.C. Bhargava recently pointed out the increase in car ownership cost was due to taxes and new regulations. 
and that definitely had an impact on car sales. So what is the need of the R for a country like India? Well, the most sensitive issue for a developing country like India in this episode is the issue of massive job loss. There are 400 Ford outlets in India where dealers over time have invested 20 billion rupees. Such dealers will be at the biggest financial loss in their entire life. Think about those 4,000 odd permanent employees of Ford India and 40,000 employees at retail points. How will they survive? And this is just one instance. We might understand the extent of the crisis if we added the volume of impact in all such cases. It's time we thought about upskilling people to work in the new world of automobile industry, soon to be dominated by electric vehicles. In fact, the shortage of mechanics and technicians for EVs is already apparent. So is this not the time to turn a crisis into opportunity? Think about it. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.